It's almost inconceivable in a sense because the acts we're talking about, they are illegal. So it's not as if we're just looking at, for things that are unsavory or bad practice, are we? Right. I, it's absolutely illegal. Uh, and not only is it illegal, but it's really bad for children to be sexually exploited, to be used in prostitution. Right. So where does the burden, obviously the burden lies on people not to do it, that's a given, but in terms of stamping it out at the core and at the root, is it on the rest of the travellers, is it on the hotel industry, is it on the travel industry? There's absolutely a role for every sector of society to play. Um, there's a prevention side and there's a detection side. And what the code of conduct is seeking is to have private industry do what it can do to prevent sexual exploitation, sex trafficking of children from happening within their environment. So as you were explaining, there are six steps that companies can agree to do. And uh, they're not that hard to do. No, but it does take a commitment for them to do it. And, that, Th and that's why and, and, a thousand and that's companies are... And that you've just put your finger on it. It takes a commitment for them to do it. It takes them to do to do more than uh, perhaps lip service uh, to, to, the, to the code's principles. And many companies are not going that extra mile. Right. What we need is, is for exactly as you said to make a commitment to take the steps to train their personnel to have a policy against sexual exploitation, sex trafficking of children. It's interesting to me from the United States to see, oh, so many companies even having a problem and having a policy against it. Um, from the U.S. point of view, we only have four U.S. companies that have signed the code, although a thousand around the world have. Hang on. So we need to do a much better job in our country. Hang on, Carol, isn't it time to start naming and shaming those companies that have been invited to save, say, sign the code and have refused to do so. You cannot make an omelette without breaking eggs. Yes, and there are many ways that people can put their, the names of the companies out there on the internet uh, that have had this happen. In fact, we have a long list of companies um, who've had a problem of sexual exploitation of children on their premises. Um, we have sent that to those companies asking them to sign the code of conduct. Um, and anybody can find the names of these are often mentioned in news right. alerts about, you know, a bust of child prostitution at a, right. at a hotel. It's Carol, we're going to have to leave it there. It's not that hard. It's not that hard, and you and I will talk more about this uh, in the future. Thank you for taking the time to come in and talk to us um, uh, tonight.